A mid-morning blaze on Sunday in the village of Masca displaced a family of seven. The fire broke out around 10.30 when the two-wolf family was inside the lower flat of their two-story home. Everybody middle downstairs to prepare because we basically live downstairs. Everybody middle downstairs to prepare for have breakfast, right? And um, my mom did downstairs and then she hear, she hear things that drop upstairs but she never know that what. And then she hear something uh, make a popping noise, right? And she sent my next bigger sister upstairs. You tell her, go check, see that where they drop up there. When she reached to the back step and opened it back for going, she, all she said, I smoke and she run down back. And when my mom come out here, I look, she see flames out the front. The National Fire Service was quickly alerted, but since the nearest assistance would be coming from the Ladyville Fire Substation, neighbors collected themselves to help extinguish the inferno. But the blaze was too powerful, destroying everything that the house contained. We got good pressure water for you and the stuff for the uh, spray water like that but people, a couple neighbors were trying to help like with the well and then the neighbors pipe them to try spray one leave water to make them to try control it but it was far too gone even the, the downstairs everything burned so the family lost everything 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 dead serious everything while the cause of the fire has not been officially ascertained the family does not believe that it was arson. Preliminary investigation revealed the fire originated in the uh, upper wooden section of the structure. The cause of the structure has still not yet been determined. But the family doesn't believe it was arson or anything like that? No, no. I mean, we don't have no enemies like the village where people would have wanted things like that. So no, we don't believe that. that. The family's coconut oil making business was saved as the machine housing a little shack detached from the mail building was untouched by the fire. They, however, still need all the assistance that can be offered. I just know that something I don't want nobody ever to experience and to lose everything that's hard, especially to a young child that's hard. How can they assist you and your family? Anything, anything where they want to give, whether it be clothing, um, food, money, materials, anything will be greatly appreciated. If you would like to assist, you can contact 632 6400 or 600. 3549. Hippolyto Novello, News 5.